Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section back with another review. For today's review is on Enclave HD for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and 5, and Nintendo Switch. Enclave HD takes place in the world of Klaheem as a demon known as Vatar destroyed most of the city. You basically play as a hero to get rid of the enemies and save your city from the demon. Your hero is free from prison and must rise to a two-sided campaign from light to dark. Enclave HD's graphics is basically an original Xbox or GameCube look to it. So if you are looking for the best graphics in the world, then this game is not for you based off the fact that this is a port from the OG Xbox and GameCube days. The audio in the game is dated along with the fact that the game sounds of the music is basically the same. The environment is a bit dated too. Now when it comes to the options, it does move fluently along with it to a degree, but you will not be impressed with some of the effects of the game as it is, and it does move a lot slow in some spots, or it does get to the point where it sometimes the movement of the game does freeze up a lot. Enclave HD is a third-person action RPG port from the original game. In this game, you are able to shoot with crossbows, fight with sword, and use magic in the game. What is kind of cool about the game is that you can also play in the first person aspect of Enclave. Now you can play and unlock a slew of characters to choose from, so to me it's not 100% of an RPG because of the weapons you choose depends on the strength of the weapon itself. You can't collect the gold and gems on each mission, but with the missions it does get bigger and it does get a little bit more tougher when it comes to gaining more of the golden gems but each mission does tend to have puzzles so it won't be a walk in the park the main problem with enclave hd that it is not optimized on the current gen consoles there were a lot of technical issues in the game where the game sometimes moved by itself and the swinging the swords is off Another issue that I'm facing with this game is the fact that this game could have gotten a major remake treatment. Instead, it's basically just a port with no changes to the game compared to the 2002 version of Enclave. The last straw for me on this game is when I was trying to swing my sword against the enemies and it felt like each weapon was going through the enemies and not really attacking them. The jumping in the game is so bad that you can't even get over some of the blocks in this game. The storytelling in this game is very lackluster to the point that it was just a bad look. Instead of doing a remake to this game, which it needed it, it basically was just a port from over from the original Xbox or GameCube with just a dash of paint, which was a head scratcher. Now, another issue that I have within Enclave HD as far as gameplay is the movement in the game. Let's say you move around in the game and there was one spot that the game moved on its own and that it really blew my mind like, why? 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 This poor friend Kalev honestly needs a lot of work from the gameplay to the cutscenes because in the cutscenes you can see a little bit of the game itself that really needs to be fixed with a bunch of other things that was wrong with this game. For that, I give Enclave HD a 1 out of 5. Thank you for tuning in to the best place for gaming. That's the gamer section. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on the channel.